Yeah, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel if you're new here. Thanks for stopping by. If you are an OG, thanks for the support. But without further ado, let me show you how to use AI Stable Diffusion in Blender. Really easy, really simple, and it's pretty, pretty interesting and pretty cool to use. So you can see here, I'll leave the link below, but as an add-on, completely free, AI Render Stable Diffusion in Blender. All right, so when you want to purchase, just purchase, easy, free, you can pay to support, but yeah, you don't really need to. Then once it's downloaded, go into Blender, click here, preferences, install, go to downloads, and it'll probably be over here. Okay, then you just click there, install. I've already done it, so do it again then it'll come up like that and then what you need to do is put in a key okay so all you're going to do is you click here sign up take you here and then your key will be that with some more numbers you just click copy and then you just paste it over here Okay, then you just click save and then when you want to use it, it won't be here. Uh, no, it will actually be in your over here, the render properties called AR render, not that. This one, then you just click enable and you can choose your size. This is perfect. And then this is your prompt, a negative prompt. And you get like presets as well. And then also this. So what this does is the lower you go, so to 0 0.1 to like 0 0.4 or to these renders, as you can read there, into new creations. And then the higher you go, the more likely it will be your thing that you created. So I'll explain Nana. And then the steps is obviously the higher your steps, the longer it will take. Okay. So that's just, that is perfect. And then your palm strength. How close the prompt will be followed. Okay. So you can play around with that. Now, how do we use this? So let's say I add in a cube. Simple cube, no texture. Now let's say a cube with different color dots. Okay, and then let's go maybe go to something like that. And then all you do is you just render. There we go. Okay. So if I zoom in. Okay, so it's not really followed it perfectly, but you can see it's like you, it's got funny stuff on it. So let's try something new for the layout. Let's go and bring in a model. Let's bring in a car. Okay. And then let's try a Pixar car. Let's try a preset. Let's try like a. Let's try that. And then F12. And then there we go. So obviously, you can see it's kind of taken that car and done something weird to it. So, what you can also do, let's say we want a background. So, let's go layout. Shift A. Bring in a plane, put in grass, okay, let me just rotate this, and then quickly put in a 
it's Dorai. That one. Let's have a look. Okay, let's drop the camera down. Something like that. Okay, and then let's try and render. And there we go. See, it's done something funny. Yeah, you can literally, what you can also do is go out here, the layout. And then what you can do is change these prompts. So, or maybe cyberpunk style scene. And maybe change this. Then try. You can see it's done <laughs> something completely different, but literally you don't even have to put in a like this. You can delete everything. Just add a camera. And then just follow the prompt. So what we can do is go 0 0.1. And there we go. Okay, so mind blowing crazy and then you can obviously go into websites that like help with prompts that give you good prompts to use by AI. it's also one way to use ai in blender so i think whether we like it or not ai is here to stay and i think we should just embrace it in my opinion and try and use it so hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.